Hello, and welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Business Analytics, BI publisher for Aspace. So what is published reporting? Well, it's, it's an enterprise reporting solution embedded into OBIE. Uh, it provides that highly formatted pixel perfect type reports. Think of anything where you would like a page number or something printed. Uh, within BI Publisher, there's some sophisticated report generation engines. There's a phenomenally expansive distribution capabilities, as well as having a, a bit of an interactive component to it. And we'll look at that later. And as I said earlier, it's integrated with OBIE. It's also included in well over 40 plus different Oracle products. A little bit about the architecture of BI Publisher. It's different than other reporting tools in that it splits out the data logic from the layout and if you're using language translations it even splits it out further. What this does is it, it provides greater flexibility and reuse as well as fewer reports and better report maintenance. So if data to destination Oracle BI Publisher's connection to a variety of data sources, regular data SQL databases, multi-dimensional or OLAP databases, web services, and then transaction systems. As long as it, the query is able to generate and produce an XML file of the data, that XML data then is married into a template, a data layout, a report layout, which can be done from a variety of layout tools, and they're listed there. Finally, the output can be produced into HTML or Excel files, PowerPoint, XML, EDI, or EFTs, and then also sent to email, printers, faxes, document repositories, or even into back into an e-commerce site. New in 11.1.1.7 was the MDX Query Builder, and it's becoming a great way for people who are used to working with SBase to now have an access into their cube with the production reporting system. This query builder is a nice GUI interface, click and drag, and as it's being built, you can actually see the MDX being built below, as well as how the data would look. Within the data template then, we can also combine other data sources as long as we have a conforming dimension. A little bit about the comparison between OBIE with Aspace and BI Publisher for Aspace. The BI Publisher side again is pixel perfect, is more report focused. The layer of abstraction from the data, meaning how do we build queries and create a business model, is in the data model of BI Publisher. We have a sophisticated delivery options and capabilities. I think it's a quite user-friendly interface for working, and then it integrates with Mobile App Designer. In fact, Mobile Application Designer is built on the BI Publisher Foundation. Whereas in OBIE, is more interactive dashboards and analysis. It's analytic focused, and the layer of abstraction is in the repository, not in the data model, and actionable intelligence, allowing a person to drive through the data, drilling in or drilling to somewhere else. And ad hoc capabilities, and then its mobile interaction is through the mobile BI HD app, so a dashboard from the OBI answers or dashboards would be visible on a mobile device that way. Besides being able to consume straight a report right off the data model, the data model can take data from the RPD as a subject area coming in as a SQL query or as an analysis query from a pre-built analysis and then in taking it one step further, the layout engine, the report builder, which the online 
layout editor can actually connect to a subject area. So if you've already brought in your SBase cube through the RPD and have been building analyses off of it, that subject area could be used as a query or as a source in your online report editor. And then finally, any report built in BI Publisher could actually be embedded on a dashboard. So we have a variety of ways in which BI Publisher can work with OBIE. And now we'll have a little demo. To begin creating a BI Publisher report off of the SBase dataset, instead of using the subject area from the RPD, we need to create a data model. And that data model can be started from under Create and the More option to Data Model, or from the New menu to Publish Reporting Data Model. Within the Data Model interface, we begin with setting up a, kind of a query to our data source. And in this case, we will be using an MDX query. We'll give it a name. We connect to our data source, the SBase, and we invoke the Query Builder. Now, as indicated during the slide demo, the MDX editor became available in version 11.117. So, we're going to pick our cube from our SBase server, sample basic, and we are now brought into the query design mode. The options that we have underneath the top left are to show the query, which is helpful to see the MDX that's being generated, as well as maybe changing our cube, setting an alias table, and the auto refresh is nice that we can, as we're building it, see data. So I'm going to turn on the query view, and we will begin with by starting to drag items from the left side into our work area. Now, SBase as a data source into BI Publisher works best when most of the items are on the rows. So I'm going to bring in my sales and my cost of goods sold, then my margin. On my columns, I would like to see my scenario. And there we go. We start to see data right away. Now, I don't want to bring in the variance percent, so I can set a filter. So we select on the down point arrow, bring up the filter, and the filter dialog appears, and we can choose the items that we wish not to include by unchecking. Next, we're going to bring in some additional rows to help describe the data. So let's bring in the product category. And as you can see, these are the member names within our SBase cube. We'll deal with the aliases later. Now, let's bring in the region as our slicer. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a member selection starting with the member top level and market. So we'll expand that and we'll pick east. We'll hit closed. And now our data is already set to the where clause of east. Finally, let's bring in our quarters as some additional row data. Looks like a decent query, so we're going to save it. Now as we save it, we're prompted to allow additional selection properties of the dimensions. So the member names aren't helpful for the rows, so we're going to ask for the alias as well. So we hit OK. And we now have our query with the MDX generated. We hit OK. And now we have a data set. We can create multiple data sets. So now let's take a look at the structure. And here, if we'd like to change some of the names for display or in the XML tags. For display, I'm going to take off the word member 
and just leave it as product alias. And I'm going to call it year alias, though we're probably not going to need to see the year alias in the in our report, and the measure alias as well. So let's take a look at what the data will look like now when we run a query. This is important because this is how we're going to be laying out our report. So we'll hit view to get all our data. And as you can see, this is going to be an XML data structure. And we can start to see how the labels of the members are going to be laid out. And this is going to be important when we start to lay out our tables or our pivots or our charts in the report layout editor. So we need to save the sample data before we can build a report. We'll hit save. And let's export this just for later on if we'd like to look at the Excel template builder or the Word template builder. So we'll say an export and we'll save to our desktop. Hit OK and it's been saved. So now we'll save our data model. We'll give it a name. I like to preface my with the DM underscore sample basic hit OK and now we will create a report if we chose to create a report without a data model we could use the subject area if one existed or we can even upload it spreadsheet if we'd like to just prototype the data into a report. Now the guide me is going to bring us through a, a series of selections to help us lay out the report. Now we get to choose the, the format we want. Do we want a header or footers? And what's going to be the structure of our report? Now for this example we're going to look at it as a table. And we can start to drag our items into the space to the work area. And you can understand that the measures are actually being tied to the columns, whereas the measure itself becomes a label or a classifier of the row. We'll bring in our product, and we're going to bring in our year. Now we brought the product alias, so we can see now there's our colas. All right. Let's click next. Now we can go in and edit our report further, or we can view it right off the start. So let's do the view. Give it a name. Ideally, you'd probably want to create a set of folders for each of your reports to combine the data model and the report layout. So here we are. We're in the interactive report viewer. We have our data and we have our view. Now this is the interactive layout. If we'd like to see what this would look like in say HTML or PDF, we can do so from the top right menu. We go view PDF, and we will see our data. Now this is kind of just generic, so we need to pretty it up. So we're going to go back into edit mode, and we're going to edit the layout. And you will see that a lot of this looks a lot like the layouts for mobile application designer. And for us, we're going to do a real quick regroup the report, set a grouping, or group the quarters above. And we will save it one more time. And let's go to the view. Now in interactive mode, you still could have set the number of rows to show the display, but here we now have the ability to choose 
borders. In HTML mode, or even in PDF mode, what we will get is our break by quarter. So that's a quick view of the interactive report builder using an MDX query against our sample basic as base data set. Other layout template builders that could be considered the Microsoft Word template builder using RTF or rich text format is for more advanced report layout design. There is an Excel template builder that allows for you to build out an Excel report using the data model from BI Publisher. The output though is purely Excel. Additional design tools would be maybe Adobe so you could actually have forms and embed uh, fields into those forms much like a W2 and then finally Adobe Flash for interactive type reports uh, the last one is not as often used so is it a replacement for financial reporting studio not yet there's a few deficiencies that just doesn't allow it to measure up to FRS as a full replacement uh, that is that it doesn't support the hierarchy columns much like OBI -E, where you're able to drill into the hierarchy and financial reporting studio you can do the same BI publisher doesn't recognize those it doesn't understand the concept of drilling down the other part is that from a design perspective both on the data template and the layout template you need to be aware of how the data has been organized and built so when you build your queries in MDX realizing those items on the columns do have an impact on the labeling of data as well as those on rows and how does that show up when you're into the design tools associated with BI Publisher layout whether it's a pivot or a table also it doesn't recognize the sorts that are embedded naturally in the hierarchy of the S-Base outline.